Hello everybody! <clears throat> Welcome back, this is Doc and Dude, and we're playing through some more Metroid Prime. Last time we got through Pars of Vendron Drift, we got the Boost Ball, we've got the Double Jump, and we got the Wave Beam. During my last sit-down session, which is fine with me. Let's switch back. Okay, so appears the only other door we can go through right now is this one that I hear, which I just switched the beam for, which okay, that's yeah, whatever. Cool. Now watch this. It works with turrets too. You start going nuts. Oh, what the heck? Hi. Hi. It's a shadow pirate. I yeah, I forgot about those guys. Uh, I'm to take use for biological specimens, light and radiation readings. Uh, the specimen was highly irradiated. What's this say? Oh, defense turret malfunction. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, I think those power dudes will keep coming back. And it's gone. Uh oh, I seem to remember this part a little bit. Yeah, I don't think this is a fun part. Crap. And these are... Regular space hearts. Yeah, they're not especially difficult. Like I said, not especially difficult. Charge up in a missile and they're gone. The doors have been unlocked. Man, this game's a lot easier than I remember it being. I remember it being way, way, way more difficult. Like I said, I might I'm gonna try and go for all the missile upgrades and everything once I get all the tech. You know, once I get all the ears. Like right before the final boss, I'm gonna get all of it. Um yes. it's like two bosses almost in a Ah, I wonder where it was. I heard the click click of the turret and I'm like, haha, ooh, something's here. Uh, okay, there's nothing just can't hear. I think this leads into the fifth area. Well, that helps a lot, actually. And I'm back to full health. Access to research lab Hydra. Damn it. Oh, they don't like that I'm here, I'm guessing. Sorry about the music. That's a little disconcerting, to say the least. Ah, uh, new pirate data. Um, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, leave it for, a sec for a few seconds. If you guys want to pause it and read it, like, uh, with the research, go right in. Another pirate data.
right, these are just uh, basic containers. That's special. I'm not gonna eat them all. All right. Uh, Oh well, hi. How are you? Nice to oh. oh that's quite a shocking experience. <laughs> I know I'm hilarious. Here, eat purple laser. Eat some more purple laser. Ah, purple laser for the win. Ah, I noticed in my videos as of late I haven't been quite as Shutty! So I'm gonna try and do a little bit better. Oh, hello! Why don't you use a big blade instead of sitting there firing me with a puny little laser? I mean, seriously, you would think you'd do better. You're not relying on gun turrets quite so much. Hit you again! And there it goes. Quite a shocking experience. I've already used that one. Damn. Uh, these are some of the most unique doors is that you actually have to jump th up and through them. Not the uh, regular old turrets. All right, let's get back some of our health. Try and take these guys out covertly. So uh, roaming right up next to them and trying to fire. Which used to be my persona, uh, believe it or not. Me and my friends would say. Psh! Yeah, that's still your persona. Oh, that's a very sneaky sneaky. Oh, Alright, let's see if we can snipe these guys out of here. Nice. Oh, one finally decides to use his blade. At least one of you got smart. Oh, something happened with that? Oh, okay, so there's a little panel across the field. Okay. Let's get over there. Okay, I got a feeling we're going to be using the boost function here a second. Okay, so I got to go up here and use the bomb. Some parts of this game are still a little fuzzy to me. I mean, it has been quite a while since I played. Last time I did it, I 100%ed it. And that was... I'm still living in an apartment. Six, seven years ago. As I think there's another bomb slot over here. Okay. And I was right. I was actually surprised I got up there. <laughs> Alright, so that goes back to down there. Yep, I figured we'd be using the boost ball. I just had that feeling. And I just glow, and then I spin, and then I spin. 
I'm like a top, but I don't go spinny spinny in the circles. Just in one direction. Alright. So that comes down. They form together and form a solar system map. Interesting. Ooh, there's something up there. What is that? I don't remember what that is. Ooh. Kinda interested now. Uh, I don't think I can get up over this way. Ooh. Okay, let's go around this way maybe. It's been a while. <laughs> I can tell you that it's that much. Um, save her. Alright, let's go ahead and save her real fast before I do anything. Alright, and we've got... Su oh yes, this is what we needed for some of those things. Uh, super missile. You charge up your charge beam and fire missiles, and it fires five at a time. Nearly a massive amount of missiles damage. So I'd have about six shots, which is nice. But like I said, for five boss, we're gonna need those missiles. Ow. Ow. Okay, and this will lead us to Control Tower. Control Tower is, we just go up to this next door. Nothing special. This is where a big boss fight happens. I remember that. Point blank. But, here's the clicker. Aha! Mobile split hearts. Eventually these guys become so easy you don't even think about them any longer. Flying parrots, just like we've had in that one area in the previous episode. Yeah, they can't do anything if they're uh, stunned. So feel free to use your energy beam. Or your wave beam at them. Just not like willy nilly. Uh, I guess they were too shocked to move. <laughs> Main research facility located. Research core. And that's where we're heading, folks. And we're healed. That simple. Ooh. Guess we're not done with the fight. He's keep firing the wave beams at him. And the cyclical goes away from the door. The symbol goes away from the door. That means we're good. But there's one thing. Ice cream and sore can be melted with extreme heat. Keep that in mind for later, viewers. Keep that in mind for later. We 
Research Lab Aether. Now we were just in Hydra. This is another research lab called Aether. Uh, oh, here. I was like, where the heck's the door? Alright. That I'll take care of. Alright, so what's going on here? Um, phase on Metroid. Oh boy. That's a Metroid. <laughs> the bane of the galaxy. Yeah, we thought we'd had exterminated them all in previous games. So, that didn't happen. Now, I'm gonna bust the last. Why? Because I want to fight one. And they're not really that difficult. Oh, that's right, you guys bust open the door for me. Thank you! I appreciate that. So, so much. I guess uh, we don't have to get exterminator. I'm my own bug zapper! I <laughs> know, uh, I am king of lame, lame, lame jokes. Gotcha. These guys, you gotta perform lots of dance moves, so. Uh, what's this say? Oh, it's just a pair of data? you guys delve on that if you'd like. He's dead? That one. Not far from down here. No. Ah, there he is. Okay. I thought there was another one. I'm like, where did they miss him? I'm gonna do this. That way we can activate the elevator if we need to. There's more Metroids. I'm not gonna release them. Because that's not our main goal at the moment. Ow! And this is a new creature, the Ice Beetle. How'd you get over there so fast? Um, you're dead, so doesn't matter. And you're still dead. Ha ha. Oh fun, I say. Oh boy. Thermal visor interfaces will be interfaces will be sent to the quarantine area. These devices will be useful for any person involved in the transfer of unstable test subject in there. I thought I was targeting him, but Obviously, I was mistaken. I can't see where anything is right now. And they're all dead. That's good.
Uh, inform command that thermal vision tests will be getting soon. Abnormal heat traces are represented and it's just red when looking through thermal imaging spectrum. So, if you guys can take any wild guesses of what we're grabbing next, feel free. I forgot that there's actually three breakers you have to go around and deactivate. My mistake. Auxiliary. And there's one more at the very, very top, which I feel ridiculous for now, not double checking. Because it's all the way up here. Of course. Alright, come on. Yep, there, there we go. And that's how you're actually supposed to set down from the bottom top. And we get the thermal visor. If anybody had guessed that one before I got to it, you're great. If not, it was kind of implied. Thermal visor acquired. Turn the lights down low. That's normal. Yeah, we gotta make it out of there, so. Wonderful. I'm just gonna keep firing more and more beams at the damn thing, because I'll tell you what, these are really annoying. I can suck the energy right out of your suit and it's, it's just, they, 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 they just drain you like crazy and the only way to get them off is to turn morph ball and bomb the heck out of them. It shouldn't be that much of a problem. It's mostly just sitting here, repetitions, charge up a little bit, fire, charge up a little bit, fire, charge up a little bit, fire. They're, they're a lot easier than they were back when. Now, see, this door here will say it has no power. Near a pot must be energized. Then you go like this. What is this? That's the charge. Boom. You see a little thing. Um,
these are sentry drones. Charge beam is what you want to use. And they just decimated my life. Ouch. And um, you gotta fight some more space pirates, which is they're not that hard. Him. The turret is still down there and it doesn't like me, but that's that's okay. The turret doesn't have to like me. Oh heck. Almost lost two things of life there. That more or just good. Uh, you know, I don't feel like fighting these guys. After that first boss battle, you can just avoid them every time. So I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. Uh, at any rate, that's where I'm going to end the video for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave me a like and share. Um, if you've not considered doing so already, please consider subscribing. I do enjoy doing this for everyone. I will see you guys in my next video.